I'm Amy Jones Timoney from the Office of Public Relations and Marketing here at UK, and we are here with Nancy Cox, who is the Dean of the College of Agriculture, Food, and Environment. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you. It's a pleasure to have you on the farm today. Well, tell us a little bit about that. Where exactly are we? Because it feels like we're really far away from campus, and what do you do here? Well, this is the Horticulture Research Farm, and it's across from Walmart, across Man of War from Walmart, and a caddy corner to the new Summit development. But right now, it feels like we're in a, a pretty remote area. We do research here on all kinds of vegetable crops, uh, grapes. We're walking uh, right now in an apple orchard. And our job here is to do tests on what will make the best items for our producers to grow. So. A land grant university like ours, we're the ones that take the risk. We try the ones that won't grow so we can recommend the ones that will fit into a farmer's farm. How important is the College of Agriculture, Food and Environment to the university as a whole? Well, of course, I'm biased about how important it is, but um, when the university was created in 1865, it was an A&M university, Agriculture and Mechanical Arts. So we like to say we've been around from the beginning, and we have a responsibility to produce food, to grow the economy in other ways, such as through high-tech and biotech products. And we like to say we're 365 24-7 for Kentucky because we work on food and other items like that. So we feel like we're pretty important. So between these farms, uh, extension offices in all 120 counties, your college is throughout the Commonwealth. So what is it like to be dean of a college that extends so far beyond Lexington? Well, it's a big job and you're right. We have the 120 counties. We have hundreds of county agents that work in the agriculture arena, the family and consumer science, 4-H and economic development and so each one of those agents means so much to the community where they live and work and so it's exciting um, it's it's a it's a vast kind of statewide empire that we have but everybody loves their job and are really dedicated to helping the economy and the people of Kentucky So now we're in the greenhouse area of the farm and um, this kind of shows the importance of the partnerships that your college has, correct? Definitely. Um, we have a lot of people that come in and benefit from learning about what we grow in the greenhouse. Again, we're running experiments so we can help other people grow crops and plants better. Um, we have some projects in this greenhouse right now for Fayette County Extension with a horticulture agent and uh, we're growing some crops. We allow them to come and grow crops for demonstrations. And um, so this is a beautiful set of crops in here in this greenhouse right now. So how important are the partnerships to your college in general, both here in Lexington with other colleges on campus and throughout the state? Well, you know, there, there's so many partnerships to start with what we have with uh, with Lexington and really all the counties. We're the test bed, we're the educational arm. We have those 120 counties with extension agents out there. They depend on us to tell them what research, if there's a fungus on a plant, what to spray with, what the best production practices are. So that covers the whole 120 counties. We also work closely with the Kentucky Horticulture Council and they help guide us into what projects we should do. We, in turn, help tell them our results and advance, uh, advance the farming or horticulture crops in the state. And the Hort Council, or Horticulture Council, is really committed to local food production, increasing the ability of small farmers to sell to institutions so that we can have more local food. So it's a very exciting time as we produce more local food across the state. How did these partnerships help your students? I would assume that it provides a lot of opportunity, right? Yes, um, most of the students in the College of Agriculture, Food and Environment do internships or other practical experiences. So they may be working all over the state for different businesses in the summertime. So they're connecting the best researchers as, as we see some products of those folks right here in this greenhouse to um, the entities that they're working for. They learn a lot of business skills when they go work for 
farmers and other businesses and so it really helps put them into the real world and then they can gauge how their studies are helping prepare them for the real world, which we hope we're doing really well with that. So tell me a little bit about where we are now on the farm. We're out in the production area um, for a lot of different vegetable crops. We produce organic crops at this farm, so there's a lot of interest on the part of our students and on the part of the public and extension agents in learning how we do this well here. And students are involved in production of all these crops as well. So we have an ability to give students an education on how to grow organic food. Well, that's great. Mm -hmm. um, I know that, that a lot of students are choosing the College of Agriculture, Food and Environment for reasons obvious to, to this farm, but also labs, I mean, all kinds of other opportunities. Tell me a little bit about those. Yes, you know, we're out on a farm today, and we say a farm is our laboratory as well, but we also have just as many high-tech labs in the College of Agriculture as, say, a biology department might have. So we have molecular biology research going on and things like that. And we also have a major in our college called Ag and Medical Biotech. And that major turns out to be one of the best uh, majors to provide students for medical school or further graduate degrees. Um, the students have so many opportunities and I'm sure that that's probably one of your favorite parts is, is talking with them. What are your students like in the college? Well, our students tend to be very dedicated, very focused. They don't all know what they want to do when they come as freshmen, but we say you can major in almost anything in the College of Agriculture, Food and Environment. I think our students like the ability to have one foot in the real world and one foot in the, the science world, so to speak, or the laboratory world. So we can provide that for them. Our students also engage in a lot of extracurricular activities in terms of clubs. We have 30 clubs in our college, so we have a little bit for for any student, we hope, or we like to say. What is the best part of leading the College of Agriculture, Food, and Environment? It's, you know, it's hard to say what the best part is, but I think the thing I think about the most is what it means to be a land-grant university. Um, the land-grant system was conceived in 1862, and it has done its job well the land-grant university system and then subsequently the extension and experiment station systems were designed to get good technologies out to the public and so we kind of like to say that the land-grant university every day we try to do better than the day before. Anything else that you want the rest of the university to know about you, your college, your students? Well we're open for business, we have a lot of collaborations we do a lot of work in communities uh, as well. We like to um, go into communities and help with their economic development, help tailor programs to them. So in addition to growing crops, we're also trying to grow communities as well as families. Um, we also have um, a program called Campus Kitchen, which is um, a way that we repurpose food and hundreds of students repurpose food through this program. Well, thank you so much for joining us today and for showing us um, another aspect of the university people may not always get to see. Thank you so much for coming out. <laughs>